Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question is a very interesting one, and it has to do with uh, multimeter accuracy and so on. And I thought I'd expand quite a bit on the response and talk a little bit about it. The question basically is how accurate does the multimeter need to be in order to be useful with my radio? The basic answer, if you look in your manual, it will tell you that it needs 13.8 volts, either plus or minus 10% or plus or minus 15%. So if it is uh, if 13.8 uh, and it is uh, plus or minus 10%, that means it can go up by 1.3 volts, down by 1.3 volts. So you see the meter doesn't need to be terribly accurate uh, to measure that voltage. Now, I want to talk a little bit about estimation. This is voltage going this way. Okay, here's 13.8, you know, here's 5, and so on, different voltages that we use in ham radio. Now, our power supply output is something. Say there. We don't know what that exact value is because there's no instrument on Earth that can tell us the exact value. It will always be plus or minus a little bit. So there is an exact value, and then we have a meter that can give you something within a range, and that might be plus, minus, um, you know, 0 0.1 volts or something like that. Okay? Now I'm going to show you something. I've got a whole bunch of. Um, multimeter set up here on the table being fed by a 13.8 volt power supply. This is the 13.8 volt power supply, okay? And I've got it set. It only reads to three digits, so it just turns eight volts, okay? 0.8. I'm gonna have to turn this one on again. They've been sitting for a while. This one's been sitting for a while. Okay. And so all of these are reading different values. This is 13.8. They're all reading the same thing. This says 13.9. This says 13.87. This says 13.88. This says, well, let's get it started again. Most of these turn off after you haven't used them for a while. 13.85, and here's a little ancient thing right here that uh, I once found in a used trailer, and it reads 13. So what is the voltage? This says 13.8, but all of these meters disagree as to what the voltage is. So how do you estimate what the voltage is? Well, you note that all of the readings are within a reasonable range of each other, and any of these voltages would be fine to apply to a radio that's 13.8 volts plus or minus 10%. Now, this brings us to the more general question of estimation. Estimation is to figure out what that voltage is to within a degree of tolerance that we can withstand. If you have just one meter reading, your best estimate of the voltage is what that meter says. If you have two equally good meters, then you can average the two because they will read slightly differently from each other. If you have three, you can average all three. Now let's suppose you have a very good meter, like this meter right here is the most expensive of the meters that I have, okay? We could give this, say, double uh, portion in the averaging. So we would average this as though there are two meters reading this, and then this one, and this one, and this one, okay? Uh, that would allow us to weight the average in favor of this meter because it's a more expensive meter, okay? Um, and, or if you like this one better, and so on. 
So there's all kinds of things that you can do, but there are a couple things to keep in mind. Amateur radio test equipment is not the same as laboratory test equipment costing thousands of dollars. Now, is it worth it for that tenth of a volt difference? The answer is no, usually not in ham radio. Uh, unless you're doing some voltage comparisons or something like that, normally you would not need a super accurate uh, uh, meter. Even the one from Harbor Freight will do fine. Now, yes, I know it does not read RMS current directly or correctly, but it's good enough for nearly all uses. And if I had it here, it would be reading in the same. The one thing I am learning from this is the readings from the digital voltmeters are all higher than that. Okay, which leads me to believe that this is probably not accurate. It's more like 13.8, 13.87, 13.9, uh, 13.85, and so on. Okay, this is probably reading below what the actual voltage output is. So if you need a more accurate measurement, you can measure it with multiple meters of different kinds, and you can average them, which will give you a better estimate. Remember, there is always an error between the estimate and the actual voltage. The actual voltage we can't know, because nobody on Earth has an infinitely accurate meter, and the laboratory quality ones are very expensive. So there you go, just a little quick overview of measuring voltage, the fact that there are going to be differences between good quality meters, and the one that was the furthest out is the little yellow one over here. This yellow one is a cheapy kind of thing. Uh, it's got a, an analog reading on it, and it is just not a good meter, but it's an interesting one to include here to uh, see the case. It's also very hard to read, uh, because it hovers between 13 and 14, which are very, very close. So there you have it, multimeters. What to get, what not to get, and so on. Just get yourself a Harbor Freight multimeter or an fairly inexpensive, like these Kai Wheats ones that I have reviewed recently. In fact, this Kai Wheats is the giveaway for the month of July 2022 for our channel. If you're interested in the giveaway, go to decastler.com slash giveaway. The instructions are there for what to do. Um, also, I would like to ask you to please subscribe. We need subscribers uh, to keep the channel uh, in front of YouTube so that it will recommend it to other ham radio operators, people who might like to learn from what they can. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.